Danny Adams is collecting frog embryos for an experiment that may one day redefine future cancer treatment. She's injecting this embryo with two types of genes, an oncogene to give it cancer, and another gene that produces light-sensitive proteins that control the electrical patterns in the cells that make up the embryo. To stop the cancer, Adams simply shines a light. You could turn on the light, in this case it's just blue light, and you blink the blue light at this tumor uh, for, I believe he did 24 hours, and the tumor goes away. She's building on years of research from Michael Levin's lab at Tufts University. Levin says that by targeting the cell's electrical patterns, it's possible to control how fast they divide and what information they share with their neighbors. We, we call this whole program, um, uh, research program uh, cracking the bioelectric code. The idea is much like in the brain when neuroscientists try to figure out the semantics of electrical states in the brain, we try to figure out how pattern is encoded in electrical states of the body. To kill tumors in the newly hatched tadpoles, Adams is utilizing a technique called optogenetics. The light-sensitive gene allows her to control a cell's polarization, either to prevent cancer or reverse it. The experiment had a success rate of 30 percent. Those are really, really powerful components of generating cancer. So for us to be able to override the oncogene message using light is just an extraordinary thing. We really need to crack this bioelectric code. We really need to figure out how uh, computations in tissues and, and decision making about pattern and, and cell behavior and so on are encoded in electrical signaling and that's, that's sort of the next uh, 10 years. The role of optogenetics in cancer treatment for humans is unclear, but the underlying science of how electricity functions in the body has the potential to unlock new ways of treating many types of disease in years to come.